Hey, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new survey handling capabilities in SynthEyes. So we're going to start out by doing an add survey shot and opening up a new survey. So here actually we're creating a IFL instead of opening one and this new IFL is going to be containing different images that we add. Now the point of the survey shot is that it's made up of different still images that might be taken from the same camera, a still camera, or maybe even from different still cameras at different times. So this survey shot capability lets you just add even one image at a time and add it into this IFL. And IFL is an image file list. And now let's just do that again. And we can actually go and open up a bunch of them. So let's just pick up the rest of them. And they're always going to get added in in, in the order determined by the operating system. But you can actually go and move them around if that makes it more convenient to track them later. And one of the key points about surveys is that there isn't any requirement that the images be you know, very close together like they are in an image sequence or that they really be in any particular order. But it is helpful if they are just because of the tracking. So now we've opened that up. You know, we build up the IFL, we'll open it up the rest of the way. You'll see these are just some uh, nice big stills. So Again, because these images don't have any continuity necessarily from frame to frame, there's some different ways to track these. That It's really just a, a pure manual process that's set up to do fairly efficiently. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this lock Z drop on. And that means that when I go and, and click in the viewport later, the tracker is going to be placed at that particular location. We don't have to move trackers around. We're also going to set the tracking mode to this handheld sticky just so the trackers don't get sent from one spot way off into the distance just because the trackers are going from wildly different positions from one frame to the next. So now we'll start at the beginning of the scene and what we're going to do is just hold down the C key and click right at the location where we want to put a tracker. Now I'm going to use the uh, D key to step to the next frame and go and adjust the position. Same thing, adjust, uh, hit D, adjust the position. And I'm going to keep on going through the entire shot that way. And it's okay if the feature doesn't show up on all the frames. You know, and I can do them really in any order that I want. Now I can go back and again I'm just using the S and D to, to move through the sequence. So some of the stuff that normally happens with a tracker when there's continuity from, from frame to frame gets turned off when it's a survey shot. So now I can just uh, hit the uh, plus key in the numeric side and lock the tracker up. I'll hit shift A. I'm back to the beginning and now I'll hold my C down again and I'm ready to go with my next tracker. And again I'm just stepping from one frame to the next and positioning it. And you can see that this uh, goes along quite quickly. It's kind of a uh, mind dead sort of process like watching the grass grow here. We can just go through it and do it, and it's it's really straightforward. Just because you're you're always looking for the same feature and going through the uh, whole shot, and it makes it it makes it pretty straightforward. So at this point, we're gonna go, and you'll just have to assume that uh, we go and and run through the entire rest of the trackers, and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now I've gone through and created a whole bunch of trackers. I can just scrub through the shot here. You can see I've got a bunch of things scattered around on 
you know, the fairly obvious ends of the logs here. So now we're ready to do the solve. So let's zip over to the summary panel. And you'll see that the zoom lens setting is on. The reason it's on by default is that the survey shot processor can work with shots of any size. So if you have a couple of different kinds of cameras, you can bring together all those shots into that IFL editor. And also, if you've got a camera with a zoom lens on it, you might have zoomed from one shot to the next. So to accommodate all those different possibilities, the zoom lens setting is on. And I'll point out if you do use images of a different size, you'll see that those smaller images get padded up to the size of the largest image. And all of your images should always have a square pixel aspect ratio. Now in this particular shot, all the images were shot on the same camera without changing any of the settings. So we can just go and solve it immediately. And there we go with the solution. And you'll see that there's an error that's that, that's kind of larger than you might be used to at uh, HD resolution, say, just because now we're working from a large still image with uh, many more pixels. So we're ready at this point to go and do a coordinate system assignment. So we're going to use some phases to do that. So let's jump over to the phase editor and we'll set up a quad phase view. So we're going to start out uh, with a clean start phase. It's always the best approach. I apologize that uh, things do run off the bottom of this view here just because of the smaller size of uh, the capture window here. But, uh, you know, I'm just selecting these particular phases. So, so far we, we just start out with a clean start and uh, that clears away the previous solution and we're resolving the shot. For our next step, we're going to go and select a couple of trackers. Now the trackers that I'm going to pick here are these ones along the roof line. Is basically those are the most planar, most well organized of the the bunch of these because the, the logs are kind of at different heights and so on and grass line and so on. So we're just going to pick those at uh, that same height and I've stored them away in that tracker selection phase and so when the pipeline is executed it's going to reselect those three. So now I'm going to fire up and auto place. So that auto place is going to be set up to only use the selected trackers as the basis of the ground plane. Since there are only three of them, it's going to have a pretty limited set of choices and it's just going to put those smack on the ground. So let's just go and, and run that now. And you see here we've got our camera moving that way and we've got all of a sudden the walls of the cabin are lined up and the, the roof line trackers are sitting here basically on the ground plane. And we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. So the first thing let's do is let's take the orientation and, and we've got the camera in the back and let, let's, let's get some control over that. So I'm going to use a set heading tracker. So let's just pick uh, two of the trackers here. I'm going to store those away. And let's see, it's probably like a 90 degrees. So there we go. Now we've, we've got the camera going across the bottom, which is kind of more what I had in mind, lined up with those walls of the cabin. So the last thing that let's do, it's it's kind of positioned arbitrarily there and you know the ground ground level is right at the level of the roof. So now let's go and select a slide into position phase and We'll just use that guy all the way up at the top, we'll store it. And 
it's going to be somewhere up in the air for starters. So let's say Yeah, so it's 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 like a little under 9. So let's just go and now run that. There's our tracker up there. So now <laughs> Now I just brought it up part of the way. What we actually need to do is you need to make it even further. So it's like another, you know, seven something higher that it needs to go to get the ground level up to where we want it. So that's probably something more like what we have in mind. We've got the camera moving by there. We've got the peak of the cabin up there. We've got these trackers here roughly at ground level. And we've got it nicely aligned with the walls of the cabin there. So that's a reasonable plan for setting up the coordinate system. And we should be good to go and we can go and do something else with this shot now.